How many excuses do you have? As soon as you have an excuse for not doing something, it's the very reason why you need to do it. We're in the middle of a challenge right now, and I've got, oh, I'm sore. Oh, I don't feel good. Oh, it hurts. It doesn't matter. Get up and do it anyways. Like your outcome doesn't care what your feelings are. If you want to change your life and bridge the gap between where you're at right now and where you want to be, you've got to be determined to show up and do the things you don't want to do. It doesn't, what matters is that you go do the hard thing, you build your character, you build your resilience, you keep your promises to yourself, which means you have integrity with yourself. You have respect for yourself. Talking about building up your character that says, I show up, I'm willing to do what it takes. I'm willing to fight for it. I'm willing to sacrifice. I'm willing to go through some pain, some good pain so that I grow from this, so that I can show up for my future self the way that I deserve to be shown up for. You're not a dog chasing its tail. You're not a hamster on a wheel. You're not on the treadmill of life. You're not. You're telling yourself you're those things because they're excuses and they're easy. Stop it. Just stop it. All of those things that you are doing, all of the excuses that you have right now, whatever they are, is the very reason, the very reason why you need to do the thing that you're trying to avoid. When you don't want to do something, you need to go do the opposite. When you're about to do a behavior that you know is not the best for you, do the exact opposite. If you're doing something right now that's not working for you, go do the opposite. It is the, and every time you do it, it is the easiest way to retrain your brain so it builds a new path for you to a better future for a better you.